United States Coast The drum major for today's concert is musician second class Rob True, and conducting Navy Band Great Lakes is chief musician Cassie Hamilton. Another acknowledgement, please, for their outstanding performance this morning. The parade of graduates is underway and will arrive at Midway Ceremonial Hall in a few moments. Please make sure that all personal items are clear of the aisles and the drill deck. Guests in the balcony are reminded that standing along the rail is prohibited for the remainder of the ceremony. We know that your sailors will have many wonderful and amazing stories for you about their boot camp experience. However, at this time we offer some video evidence that reveals our side of the story. Get on the bus. Let's go. Recruit Training Command is the quarter deck of the United States Navy. Good order and discipline will be maintained 24-7. Proper military posture will be maintained 24-7. Every enlisted sailor begins their naval career here, and our mission is fairly simple. It's to transform civilians into smartly disciplined, physically fit sailors ready for follow-on training and service to the fleet, and while doing so, to instill in them the highest values of honor, courage, and commitment. You are no longer a civilian. Whatever you were before is now over. You are about to begin a journey that's gonna make you a part of the greatest naval force the world has ever known. This training will not be easy. It wasn't meant to be. Our training environment is controlled chaos. And while it may not seem like that to the recruits, each and every event has meaning and purpose. You're going to sound off at the top of your lungs. Do you understand? Yes, I do, sir. We are designed to develop skill sets that sailors can carry throughout their entire career. We push hard on physical fitness. You Watch standing. Stop looking, man. Look! Try it, read it, And creating a warrior mindset. Now with the mental scan, you're gonna be focused on your mind. A true body, mind, and soul approach. When I say gas, 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 you'll have 15, one, five seconds. To down your face, tighten your straps, check floor seal, and put your hands in. 
your pockets. All of our recruits receive training that will help them the second they get to the fleet. firefighting, damage control, weapons and seamanship. Our recruits get hands-on training and application with them all. together as a team, execute the mission, and the next time I see you, you'll be sailors. Who y'all neighbors? Everything they learn is tested in a battle stations. Identify yourself. Chief, Division 001, man in ready for battle station, Chief. Very well. Do not relax anything that is on you. That is a 24-hour event where the recruit ceases to exist and a sailor is forged. Navy boot camp really is a machine with a swarm of moving parts all working towards the same goal, making a sailor. The Navy has resources for your family to get the most up-to-date information and even contact you while out to sea. The Navy Ombudsman is one of those resources. Ombudsmen are volunteers appointed by the commanding officer to serve as an information link between command leadership and Navy families. They're trained to disseminate information, Department of Navy information, command climate issues, and good deals around the community such as events, tickets, entertainment, etc. They also provide resources and referral and are instrumental in providing assistance before requiring immediate command attention. To find your command ombudsman, go to ombudsmanregistry.org. Welcome to Fleet and Family Support Programs. We take care of sailors and their family members to reduce the impact of stressors in their lives. Our programs and services focus on prevention, support, and resiliency. Counseling, advocacy, and prevention programs provide individual, group, and family counseling, victim intervention, and related prevention education and awareness programs, such as clinical counseling. Non-medical short-term counseling is available at no cost to active duty sailors and their family members. This encompasses a broad scope of educational, preventative, and therapeutic services that promote improved quality of life and increased resilience. New Parent Support. The New Parent Support Program provides military families who are expecting or have young children with comprehensive parenting and early child development education. Sexual Assault Prevention and Response, or SAPR, supports commanding officers in creating a command climate of prevention that promotes installation-wide sexual assault awareness efforts and the management of sexual assault cases, including victim advocacy and support services.
enrollment, assignment coordination, and family support. Fleet and family support programs also provide a deployable workforce that supports sailors who are underway with embedded deployed resiliency counselors and prevention coordinators. Additionally, we provide onboard deployment trainings via our departure and separation and return and reunion programs, which are conducted at the beginning and end of deployments. These programs and many more are provided in person, online, by telephone, and on the My Navy Family mobile app, which provides a one-stop shop for obtaining information on services and resources. Remember, as you journey through your Navy career, Fleet and Family Support Programs is with you every step of the way. swearing in. It's nice to have basically a liaison to help people so they aren't as nervous of what their children are going to go through. Separation and constant movement are an ever-present challenge for service members and their loved ones. The USO keeps military families strong, providing connection home and events for families and couples. From the little Christmas events for the kids, or like we had a date night, the USO has given us time, not only together, time with our children, and things to do. When troops are deployed, the USO provides a home away from home to help bridge the distance. On the front lines, a care package, a phone call home, comfort food, a familiar song, or a... Good morning and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I want to take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors.
dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, State, flags, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we welcome today's graduating division.
zero who provide support assignments for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions. Right. Face. Section leaders. Fall out and collect outer garments.
divisions, counter, march. Divisions. Halt. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand, and we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command. Division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Lieutenant Jessica Morales, Recruit Training Command's Master of Ceremonies. I would like to welcome you to today's passing review. Today, you will see 11 divisions comprised of 882 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit positioned at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Luca Warren from Wheaton, Illinois. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the Triple Threat Unit on their sixth week of training, the State Flags Unit on their seventh week of training, and the Staff Unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. 
This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from there, right. Division zero, zero, three. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Tiffany Thaxon. Petty Officer First Class Brendan Williams. Petty Officer First Class Chase Crone. And their recruit chief petty officer, Seaman Apprentice Jada Kelly from Dallas, Texas. Division zero, zero, four. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Brandon Romano. Petty Officer First Class Zachary Swanson. Petty Officer First Class Moises Beltran. And their recruit chief petty officer, Seaman Angela Morales from Corpus Christi, Texas. Division 005. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Kenneth McDaniels. Petty Officer First Class Joe Hernandez. Petty Officer Second Class Brian Mendestin. And their recruit chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice William Mann from Portland, Oregon. Division 006. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Stephen Gurner. Petty Officer First Class Chad Hatcher. Petty Officer First Class Stephen Lucius. And their recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman James Donaldson from Franklin, Michigan. Division 007. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Chance Vaughn. Petty Officer First Class Randall Truitt. Petty Officer First Class Mario Reynos Ramos. And their recruit chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice Ethan Africano from Anaheim Hills, California. Division 008. Commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer Brian Parrish. Petty Officer Second Class Markwell Jordan. And their recruit chief petty officer, Seaman Selwyn Porter from West Columbia, South Carolina. Division 009. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Della Gonzalez. Petty Officer Second Class Clever Presti. Petty Officer Second Class Madison Kirk. And their recruit chief petty officer, Seaman Michael Lysel from Davis, California. Division 010. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Rebecca Radcliffe. Petty Officer First Class Henry Brennan. Petty Officer Second Class Elijah Stansberry. And their recruit chief petty officer, Seaman Ryan Hanaran from Bronxville, New York. Division 011. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Manuela Thompson. Petty Officer First Class Emmanuel Cabrera. Petty Officer Second Class Tyler James Ho. And their recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Apprentice Luis Bautista Martinez from Merced, California. Division 0 1 2. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Juan Valdez Amarillas. Petty Officer First Class, William Peace. Petty Officer Second Class, Chris Stevenson. And their recruit chief Petty Officer, Fireman Caleb Branda from Orlando, Florida. Division 904. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Savannah Buza. Petty Officer First Class, Yuan Williams. Petty Officer Second Class, Trayvon Davis. And their recruit chief, Petty Officer, Seaman Luca Ward from Wheaton, Illinois. 
On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division commanders and recruit chief petty officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, Bosun and Honor Guard, take their places for arrival honors. This time honored tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on with colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Recruit Training Command, arriving. Deputy Commander, Submarine Forces, arriving. Thank <laughs> you. 
The guests may be seated. Comments, sir. Color Guard! Parade the colors! Will the guests please rise? Present arms.
Retire the colors. Present arms. Order, arms. Chaplain Provoznak will offer this morning's invocation. Let us pray. Eternal Father, strong to, to save, bless, and approve our reason for gathering here today to celebrate and honor the Navy's newest sailors. We give you thanks for their successful completion of all the challenges that were set before them. Take this moment as proof of their deep commitment to serve their fellow sailors. The fruits of their long academic, physical, and spiritual labors are now ready for harvest. In the days, months, and years ahead, grant that they may come to clearly see their calling and purpose, that their dedication is fully invested in the pursuit of building a better Navy. We pray that their purpose, labors, learning, and spirit all point true north. Lord, you called these leaders to accept an invitation to sail their ships out into the deep. Be with them as they go out to sea. But when the stormy winds and waves threaten to push them off course, allow them not to reel to and fro and stagger as if they were alone. Bring them out of their distress in their time of need. Make the storm calm so that the waves are still. Bring them onto their desired haven. Allow their boats to be filled with the treasures you have found so that they may enrich others with the same spirit. Please bless and guide our sailors and their families as they reach this end and as they chart new beginnings. Please help them to use all that they have learned here to allow the Navy to accomplish its own task and purpose. We know that some of them will experience pain and hardship, and we know that some of them already have. And we ask you to grant them solace and strength as they set forth to their ships and units around the world. Know that they will never be alone. We ask that the bonds that they have been forged here remain ever strong, and may the inspiration of the legacy of Naval Station Great Lakes, with its rich history, remembering all that have gone before us, never leave our hearts. By God's grace we say, Amen. Our guests may be seated. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command.
Sailor's Creed. Uh Present the graduating divisions. Request permission to commence the review. Good morning. Commence the review. Aye, aye sir.
gentlemen, good morning. I'm Captain Ken Prover, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Command. I'd like to welcome all the family and friends attending this recruit graduation and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Rear Admiral Michael Van Poots, Deputy Commander of Submarine Forces Atlantic and Deputy Commander of Submarine Forces Pacific, and our guest of honor, Captain Kirtrick Brooks, Transformation Integration Branch Head, Chief Naval Personnel. I'd also like to acknowledge staff from our fleet sponsor, staff um, Naval Reserve Professional Development Center, uh, Center, sponsoring Division 003. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors and Navy commands from around the world for valuable mentoring and motivation while in training here at RTC. I would also like to welcome all our veterans here today. Thank you for your service to our country. Would all our veterans please stand so we give you a round of applause. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. Division 904 graduates today. There are staff support unit providing arrival honors, honor guard, recruit review commander, adjutant, and support staff for the ceremony. We're going to have to bid a farewell to our review, uh, recruit review commander today uh, as we turn over the watch with the next team. Please join me in giving them and 10 other graduating divisions here today a round of applause for outstanding performances. The staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, smartly disciplined sailors, such as those standing here today. These sailors before you have successfully completed 10 rigorous weeks of demanding recruit training and have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, their family and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly and navigate your new journey together, we invite you to learn more about your family resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search Navy Boot Camp Navy Family or use the QR code provided in the signage around the hall to learn more about your new Navy family. Today's graduates serve as the bedrock of our naval forces and will join other American sailors around the world to defend freedom and liberty against those who would threaten them. I can say with pride this training group is ready to graduate today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 882 of the sharpest, newest sailors in the United States Navy. attention to detail, and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas, academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the Battle E flag in recognition of their performance. Six divisions have earned this honor today and we congratulate them on a job well done. Any division that excels in every phase of training and earns all flags qualifies for the Chief of Naval Operations Honor Division recognition and is awarded the CNO Honor Flag for exemplary achievement. This designation reflects a high degree of teamwork, morale, and esprit de corps, as well as the superb leadership of the division commanders. Four divisions have earned this honor today, and we congratulate them on a job exceptionally well done. Admiral Van Poots will now 
present this week's individual awards, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frober, and our guest of honor, Captain Brooks. It is our pleasure to recognize the review committee for today's ceremony, Seaman Luca Warren, Division 904 from Wheaton, Illinois. Throughout his training, Seaman Warren has exhibited great pride in naval service and has consistently demonstrated his potential as an effective leader. He has maintained a high standard of personal appearance and displayed excellent military bearing and command voice. Congratulations on your outstanding achievement. Well done, sailor. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Seaman Apprentice William Mann, Division 005 from Portland, Oregon, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Lake Defiance Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Seaman Apprentice Mann receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty. Seaman Connor Lee, Division 006 from Harriman, Utah, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman Lee is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Ryan Hammerman, Division 010 from Bronxville, New York, is the, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for best ex exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipping. Seaman Hammerman is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. Seaman Douglas Pruitt, Jr., Division 007 from Sandy Hook, Virginia, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Pruitt is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Admiral. 
Good morning, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Good morning, Captain. Steve McGalley. Good morning. The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Jake Golly, Division 010, from Arlington, Virginia, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Seaman Golly is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Apprentice Ethan Africano, Division 007, from Anaheim Hills, California, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion and duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a Navy flag letter of commendation. Seaman Apprentice Africano, the staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Ladies and gentlemen, how about another round of applause for our outstanding award recipients. As I was looking out across the training group today, this is a very competitive training group, and uh, you know, they, uh, they passed multiple crucibles through their training to accomplish these outstanding results and I couldn't be prouder and I know that you are just as proud of what they have yet to yet accomplish so thank you all for all your hard work so continuing with the program I have the distinct honor this morning of introducing our reviewing officer Rear Admiral Michael Van Poots, Deputy Commander Submarine Force Atlantic and Deputy Commander Submarine Force Pacific A native of Sparta New Jersey he commissioned in 1995 with the Reserve Officer Training Corps program in Troy New York he served aboard USS Baltimore and USS Montpellier, completing North Atlantic and Pacific deployments. Ashore, Rear Admiral Van Poots performed staff tours in various submarine and operational related units, including as Commander Submarine Squadron 6, Detachment 504, Commander Submarine Group 10, Force Protection Detachment 2, U.S. Fleet Forces Marine Op Maritime Operations Center, Det Greensboro, Chief of Naval Operations for Operations, Plans, and Strategy at the Pentagon and Na Navy Command Center and is designated a U.S. Naval Academy Blue and Gold Officer, Deputy Area Coordinator. Additionally, his post-command assignments include Commander Office of the Naval Research Reserve Component, Director Submarine Force Reserve Component, and Deputy Commander Naval Reserve Region Readiness and Mobilization Command, Norfolk. Among his mobilizations are Inspector General, Joint Task Force Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, and Chief of Staff, Combined Joint Task Force, Horn of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm Recruit Training Command welcome for Rear Admiral Van Poots.
Good morning, and thank you, Captain Frober, for your introduction. Welcome to all of our distinguished guests, and most importantly, the family and friends of these sailors in ranks today. It is a great privilege to join you today to welcome these young men and women as the newest sailors into the world's finest Navy. I thank each and every one of you for the integral role you've played in their success. You helped shape your recruit into a person who wanted to stand up for their country, who understands Navy Corps values of honor, courage, and commitment, and had the drive to make it happen. We now all welcome all of you into the Navy family. To all of the young sailors standing now before me, congratulations on your accomplishments. You look magnificent. For over a century, Naval Station Great Lakes has transformed over three million civilians into highly trained sailors. This morning, I will not speak of those who have gone before, because I want to talk about this group of sailors, about these young men and women. In August of 1991, over 32 years ago, I first put on the Navy uniform. Like you, I made the choice to enter the profession of arms and of service to our great nation. Each of you has selflessly answered the call to duty to serve a cause greater than yourselves. You have passed every test, triumphed over every challenge, and proven yourselves worthy of wearing the uniform that symbolizes freedom throughout the world, the uniform of the United States Navy. Whether you stay for a few years or 30, you have joined an exclusive fraternity of those who have chosen the path of service. Sailors, I can tell you from experience that you are about to embark on one of the most challenging adventures of your life. But I can also tell you that if you serve with honor, keep faith with your fellow shipmates, and strive for excellence in everything you do, it will also be one of the most rewarding. You have chosen to serve your country at a time when it is most needed, when America most shows a strong presence throughout the world, on the seas and in the skies. You have taken on the task of defending our nation, and in the instructors and staff here at uh, RTC have done a masterful job of preparing you for that tremendous duty and responsibility. You have earned not only mine, but the respect of a grateful nation. In closing, not only as a Navy Admiral, but as a fellow American, I would like to be the first to say to, to you all, thank you for your service. Congratulations, sailors. God bless you all, our Navy, and the United States of America. Thank you. Admiral Van Poots will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
flags. Post. Post. Section leaders, fall out and retrieve outer garments. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Tomorrow you can pick them up at the Chapel parking lot. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate 8 towards the train station parking lot. Naturalization sailors, please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's ceremony with your families for the naturalization ceremony. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this, Liberty Call!